Hey everybody. So today we're going to review three advanced candlestick patterns. Okay, we're going to go through entries and stop losses, how to identify them. Okay, we're going to focus on three advanced ones. Last time we did a video, it was five basic ones. If you haven't watched that video, I'd watch that first. I'm going to cover a little bit of this. In here, we're going to talk a little bit about what is a candlestick and we're going to talk a little bit about the parts of a candlestick. But this is going to be a little more intermediate. Uh, to say the least. So we're going to be very specific, very, very granular on these three patterns and bullish and bearish opportunities where they exist. So let's just get right into it and just review. So for those that don't remember or don't know, a candlestick is simply a price chart, right? It's, we use it for technical analysis. This was created back in the 1700s in Japan by rice merchants. And what they were looking for was a way for them to determine what was going on with supply and demand with rice. And so that's how the that's how candlesticks were created. And I think that's helpful to understand because what they were trying to do was trying to figure out how they could actually quantify supply and demand. So that's these are my favorite price charts, point blank, because they tell you a lot more than the majority of of price options out there. So let's just get into the parts of it again. So here you have the open, the close the high, the low, okay? And what's important is that this bar is green. Why is this bar green? This bar is green because the open and the close, okay? The open and close, we opened lower and closed higher. Okay, that's a positive day, right? So that's important to understand that. now. Second part, this is called the body. So anything between the close and the open is the body, okay? Now, on a red bar, same parts exist, but they're a little bit inversed as far as the open and the close. So here we have the high, then you have the open, then you have the close, then you have the low. And as you can see here, the open is higher than the close, right? So again, the open is higher than the close. Therefore, we had a red day or a day of selling. This is still constitutes and this is still the body, okay? So as far as that general understanding, that'll explain a little in a little bit of detail why that's important. Uh, and we'll explain that a little bit more as this goes on and why that is important to understand because some, pa some patterns, some advanced patterns, really only take into account the body. Uh, some people don't really take into account the, the wicks. And as people know, I refer to wicks as price rejection because essentially that's what they are. But the first pattern that I really want to review is bullish hook reversals. So a bullish hook reversal is where you're going to have a short or a medium term correction in price, meaning we've been dropping for a while and perhaps it's over, okay? And the first sign that you need to, to look for is you need at least three red bars, okay, for a bullish hook reversal. Then you need, they all need to basically be lower lows or very close to lower lows. And then you need to see a green bar that is in the middle of the last red bar. Okay, that is your first sign that you may have a bullish hook reversal. And in our example here, you can see that we, in this case, we had five down days, not three. But our first sign that we might be reversing starts here. Okay, and it's an inside day, meaning that this bar is inside this bar, as we can all see, right? Now, that's just the beginning of it, right? Some people refer to this as the kicker, or the trigger bar, and essentially it is. However you refer to it, you refer to it. But your entry is there. Your entry is the high of this bar. You're not waiting for this to close. You're simply waiting for it to get above the high. So you, in this case, you've opened down, right? You've gone lower, then you reversed, and then you closed, you went up here, and then you closed higher, okay? So you are in this as soon as it breaks here. That's all you're looking for. That's your entry on a bullish hook reversal. Your stop loss, very simply, and I'll move this down, your stop loss is the low of the kicker bar. 
right here. Okay, that is going to be your stop. Okay, and then you're going to have to trade out because these kinds of patterns, they don't really give you a target price. You're going to have to figure out how you're going to trade on the way out. And there's def different ways that you can do that. And I'll go over that in a different video. But for this, just understand that you're looking for at least three to five bars. Usually, it usually becomes more, but you need at least three, right? Red bars. The green bar becomes your kicker or trigger bar. Getting above that bar on the next bar becomes your entry point. Your stop becomes the low of the kicker or trigger bar, okay? And that's how you enter these. So that's a bullish hook reversal, okay? Now I wanna go over the exact opposite of that, and I have an example of that in this chart. And the opposite of this is gonna be very simply a bearish hook reversal. And what's that gonna look like, right? That's gonna look exactly like the opposite of what we just described. And I'll point one out right here. So with a bearish hook reversal, all we're looking for is the exact opposite of what we had before, right? And let's really zoom in on this because the, the, you know, the devil's in the details with this kind of stuff. And let's just truly understand what we're seeing here. And that should be pretty good, right? And let's just blow this up and make it a little wider and that's perfect. Okay, so what you're gonna see here or what you're looking at here is a bearish hook reversal. I have at least three green bars going up, right? Then I have a red bar, okay? After this, that essentially is in this group. You don't have to be that specific. If it's off by 10 cents, it's off by 10 cents. Don't be that rigid. Uh, you know, be specific, but don't be rigid. But what you're seeing here is the moment that this red bar breaks this level, you have a reversal when you break here. So that becomes your stop if you were long or your short entry there, okay? And where would your stop be? Your stop is going to be the high of this bar, okay? The high of the bar is gonna be your stop. And you can see how it tried there and then all of a sudden we just came crashing back down, okay? So it's the exact opposite here on a bullish or a bearish hook, you're looking from green to red. On a bullish hook, you're looking from red to green. You need the first bar to trigger differently in color for this to continue, okay? So you need the first bar in this to trigger in order for that to continue. And these are pretty, they're pretty powerful patterns when they happen and you can recognize them. And they're a great way to determine whether or not to get in or out of something. And they usually follow a short or a medium term trend. They, they, tend to, they tend to stick that way. So let's just keep going along. There's two more patterns I really wanna go over. As always, please subscribe to this channel. We're gonna be doing a lot of these kinds of videos now. Um, I'm getting a lot of requests, a lot of really good requests for videos, and we're gonna really hone in on some of these and get like super specific. So. Uh, please subscribe and click the notification so that you're aware of it. So the, the next pattern that I really want to focus on here is one that is usually looked at. Let me really get in here and focus on this so you can see it, okay? Because this part's very important. But what, what's interesting about this is people usually misjudge this pattern. And we're going to make sure that we don't do that today. We're gonna make sure that we fully understand it. And let me just get this as big as I possibly can. There we go. And then we can really zoom in here, okay? So this pattern is a bullish Harami, okay? And a bullish Harami is a short-term to medium-term reversal pattern. All three of these that we're going over today are short or medium-term reversal patterns, okay? They can convert and continue back down, but there's a pattern associated with them. And essentially, what you're looking for is you're looking for, a, in a bullish, you're looking for a red bar, okay, followed by an inside day green bar, okay? And all we're looking for here, so you have this long red bar down, okay? Then you're followed by an inside green bar. All you're looking for is to get over this line. And one of the reasons I'm using this particular trade is because we're gonna show you the entry. The entry is over here. So the moment that we get over this level, 
off the open, it became a buy. Trades up, comes back down, closes at the low. We think the trade's over. But our stop, once again, becomes the kicker or the trigger, okay? So it becomes the trigger bar. This is your entry. This is your stop. So even though this did nothing for a couple days, right, and for a couple days, the trade wasn't over because the stop was never triggered. So that allowed us to stay in the trade, okay? And I just want to review this one more time. It's a bullish Harami. And essentially, you need red to an inside green. And then you just need to pop over the high of that bar. Okay? And there's your entry once again. Right? And this again would be your stop. Okay? And you'll see these a lot. And they're, they're pretty predictable. Like, you might not get the biggest move out of it. In this case, you did get a fairly decent move. But they're fairly predictable when you see that. Okay, so I would, I would definitely try to put them in your arsenal. Uh, they're, they're a good one to have. I use them. I use them a lot. And you can use these on any time frame. It doesn't matter, or no matter what you're trading. So next, I really want to go over the exact opposite. Okay? And we're going to go over what is called a bearish Harami. All right? So let me just get to the one that I really thought stuck out. So a bearish Harami is going to be the exact opposite. And let me just blow this up so we can focus on it. Perfect. And we'll just make that a little wider. Okay, so you're going to go from green to red. So I have this long green bar up. Then I have a red bar. Okay, this red bar is encapsulated by the green bar. If it's out a little bit, don't be a stickler. You know, it can happen, but what you're looking for, again, is the exact opposite. All you're looking for is to sell it or short it here, right off the low as soon as it happens. You're not waiting for the close or anything like that. You're just simply executing when this happens, and that becomes your entry spot. Your exit becomes, or stop, becomes the high of the trigger or kicker bar, okay? And then you could just trade out of it as you see, you know, as you see fit. But that's what you're looking for. Again, green to red. This bar is inside of this bar. A break of this. And then you can head lower. And if you kind of look at this pattern a little bit, if you think about like how we not understand bullish, you know, bullish flags, how usually when they break the low of the flag, sometimes they break down and retest these levels. And this is something very similar to what you're seeing. So you can see how some of these patterns may be in other patterns, right? And so sometimes they can give you identification if those other patterns may work or may not work. I understand it's a little advanced to wrap your head around, but I did want to make this video a little more intermediate or advanced for people. But that's what I would focus on. Again, entry, stop. And that's, it's really that simple is all you're looking for. You're not looking at anything else, okay? Green, to red inside breaks here that's your trigger that is your stop okay so that's bullish and bearish haramis okay and the third pattern that i really want to go over uh, is something called a bullish homing pigeon and it's kind of a funny name but i want to really go over this one because I, i've done very well with this but it's a little tricky and so I'm just going to review it, okay? And I'm going to explain the difference between this one and the other ones. So let me just focus on this and pull this all the way up. Okay, perfect. So a bullish homing pigeon, okay, doesn't need to go from red to green or green to red. Does not need to do that, okay? What you need to do is you need to find a pattern of, let's take red days, okay? Because the bullish, and this is the only one out of the group, the bullish homing pigeon really works on, for determining entries. It's not really, they really don't have a bearish homing pigeon. It doesn't, it's not very predictable. Let me leave it at that. So we're just really gonna cover the bullish homing pigeon move today. And essentially, you're looking for three to four days down. Let's call it three at a minimum, okay? 
Then you're looking for a day, and you see how you have it here, where you don't hit a lower low, where it just stops, where the body of the bar, and that's all you really need with this. It doesn't, you don't even need these the opens or these highs and lows to be in the bar. It's nice if they are, but you don't need it. But what you have here is you have a position that I'm still all red, but this still being all red, this is still your kicker bar, right? Your kicker or your trigger bar, okay? So your entry is here. Let me put it right there, okay. So your entry on this bar is getting above the open. And this is very different from Harami's or uh, the hook reversals that we just went over. On these kinds of patterns, on bullish homing pigeons, all you're looking for is to get over the previous kicker bar or trigger bars open, okay? That's, that's it, you're not waiting for the wick or anything. Just get over that opening price, okay? And there's a reason for that. I mean, think about it. If you sold off here and then you reverse over that, it probably means that those sellers may be gone. And that's exactly what it's, it's telling you. Now, by entering here, all we're doing again is we're putting the, the stop right under it, okay? And that's it. That's it in a nutshell. Again, you need three red bars, okay? This becomes your kicker or trigger bar, okay? Your reversal where you're going to buy is just off the open, okay? It is not the high. You don't have to wait for the high. Just off the open when you're in the middle of this bar, right? As long as you're inside, you're good. You break over it, you put the trade on, trades on. Where's your stop? Here, the low of that bar. Now, of course, you can do your own process and trade with it, but these three patterns I just went over, start using them, start replicating them, start putting them into your arsenal. Uh, and if you do review and you wanna review, please, I'll link it on the back of this, the basic candlestick video, please review that one as well. But these are three patterns and I want to be very specific on how to execute them, what the entries were, what the stop losses are, and what you need in order for them to trigger, and I hope I covered that. Uh, as always, if you could do me a favor and please comment on this video and let me know what you liked about it, what you would prefer me to go into uh, more detail, what other videos you, you wanna see. And again, I don't purposely run ads into these videos because that my goal is to educate, so if you could share this with people, that would be great. Hope everybody has a great day. As always, reach out if you want to discuss anything.